Hello and welcome. Today I show you how to clean your keyboard keys and make it look like new. First time cleaning this keyboard after many years of use. This is a Logitech G19 keyboard and I really like it and I don't really want to get a new one. I just want to make this one work as close to new as possible. The problem now is that keys take more force to be pressed because there is a lot of dirt under the keys and I would like to make them look like the numeric pad that you see here. Before removing the keys, take a picture of all the keyboard layout so you know how to put them back. Lots of dirt between the keys and under the keys. I have the option to use any of these three tools. You can use a flathead screwdriver or a spudger tool. Basically anything that can go under the key and push it up. The keys are held in place by these plastic clips and they're pretty easy to remove. And I will show you in high speed how I removed all the keys one by one. The bigger keys have pieces of metal that keep them straight. You just have to be careful when you remove them not to bend them or break them. When removing the spacebar, apply pressure in the middle and then slide it outside from the metal rods. Once you remove all keys, remove the metal pieces from the bigger keys and keep them in a separate place. They're just unclipping from the keys. Get a water bottle, 1.5 liter, 2 liter, 2.5 liter. Put some dish soap in the bottle and mix it well. Put all the keys inside the bottle. The enter key is too large to put in the bottle now, but I will cut the bottle later and wash the enter key also. After all the keys are inside the bottle, place the cap on and just gently move them around so they get washed. Let the keys sit in the bottle for a few hours and in the meantime you can vacuum clean the keyboard. You see a lot of dirt is coming out. After vacuum cleaning, take a wet tissue that is lint free and carefully clean the whole keyboard, all the areas where the keys were sitting and there was dirt. You're cleaning between the keys and not the membrane. You don't need to clean the membrane. Pour the keys out in a sink and make sure that there is something covering the sink drain so that you don't lose any keys. Rinse the keys with fresh water until all the dish soap is gone. Place the keys on a towel and spread them evenly. Close the towel and just gently press on them to help the drying process. The best thing is to wait for them to get dry, but I didn't have patience, so 
I was removing the water from inside the keys by just shaking them like that. When you're ready to reinstall the keys, place them in the layout of the keyboard that where they should go, so it's easier to install them. And this way, you took the picture at the beginning, it's really helping you a lot to know where to place them. Reinstall all the keys one by one. Reinstall the metal rods on the keys by just clipping them in place. When you reinstall the key, put the metal rod under the guides on the keyboard and then make it straight and press down. The keyboard looks and feels like new, it's a big difference, the keys press much easier and it was easy to clean them. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me a lot and also help me by sharing this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time, bye.